Hey guys, what's up? It's Kay Jones coming at you with a new video for my Let's Talk Star Wars series, episode four. Uh, this is gonna be my <laughs> Mando season two reaction video. The Mandalorian season two trailer came out about an hour ago. I have not seen it. I've been waiting for this trailer for so long. So um, yeah, season two is supposed to come out like next month less than a month from now so they're really late on this trailer and i thought they were never going to release it but um after seeing it and my first my really reaction um i'm gonna give my thoughts on it and um of course i've seen mando season one and i've also seen the entire clone wars and i'm really hoping to see like bo Gatan or ahsoka but anyway let's roll with this i'm like super excited also nervous because i've never done a reaction video so this is going to be interesting that's a sit capture I know George Lucas helped with this too. Only the one who safely deemed such destruction. You must reunite it with its own kind. Where? This you must determine. The songs of Eon's past tell of battles between Mandalore the Great and an order of sorcerers called Jedi. Search the galaxy and deliver this creature to a race of enemy sorcerers. This is the way. No. Oh my god, I want to see more. Like, I almost, like, got teared up, dude. <laughs> okay, so let me talk about my thoughts. Um, holy mackerel, dude. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed that we didn't see Ahsoka. There's a lot of things I love about this, though. I think they're going the right way with the story because they're one, wanting to find out the origin of Yoda's species or baby Yoda in this case, same species, which is fantastic. I think that's the way to go because we don't know Yoda's species, which is weird because he's like the most powerful Jedi in the prior times. Second, I love that his relationship with the child, he says, I'm not letting him out of my eyesight or whatever. And, uh, God, like, I actually started to tear up. I got so excited. <laughs> um, uh, another thing I like was that they called them Jedi Sorcerers and that basically they bring up the past and the enemy between, the enemy and the conflict between the Mandalorians and the Jedi, which I am so thankful because in the Clone Wars and also, like, Knights of the Old Republic, the, like, original RPG games, um, from the early, early 2000s, a lot of the conflict between the Jedi and the Mandalorians are mentioned. The Mandalorians do not like Jedi. They don't. Um, why? I don't really know more details on that. Maybe Knights of the Old Republic touches on that more, but I'm not too sure. And that's considered legends, not canon yet. Um, I do know that the Dark Saber was actually wielded by a Mandalorian Jedi, and it was the only Mandalorian that became a Jedi ever. And the Mandalorians cherished the Darksaber. Um, and they stole it from the Jedi Temple because the Jedi Temple had it in the archives, basically saying this belonged to a Jedi. And the Mandalorians are like, yo, this belongs to a Mandalorian. Doesn't matter if he was a Jedi. We have bad past with y'all. 
However, you know, this is traditionally, this dark saber is the Mandalorian's, which Pre Vizsla and his clan stole from the Jedi Temple. Uh, that being said, like, I would love to see the Mandalorian wield the Darksaber by the end of this. And I do hope this whole... I think he's going to ask for help from the Jedi from Ahsoka Tano. And I think Ahsoka Tano is going to be the, this leader of, like, not Jedi. I think they're going to be Grey Jedi. I think they're going to be more balanced in the Force. I may, may be completely wrong. Another, but I think that that's what's going to happen if Ahsoka's involved. Bo-Katan may be helping him because I heard she was going to show up. I'm so sad we didn't see her or Ahsoka in this freaking trailer. Ah! Oh, that's so sick. The opening, and I love how they left, like, 15 seconds of the screen black, and you could just hear him fighting. Like, I'm sad. I'm mad because I want to see, and at the same time, it's like the suspense is nuts. I think they added Ahsoka in the trailer originally, and then I think they removed her. I don't know if that chick was Ahsoka, actually. That's what's driving me insane. Like, let's check that out. Did you see that chick that was, like, slowly glanced? Sorry. Um, there was this, this chick that I saw, Jedi Sorcerer, but it didn't look like Ahsoka. It looked like somebody completely unrelated. So let's look. I don't know, like, kind of looks like Rosara whatever, but at the same time, like, yeah, it looks like Rosaro, Darian, or whatever the chick that's going to play Ahsoka, but I think my problem is, is that they don't have any of the paintings or anything on Ahsoka, and that bothers me. Like, she doesn't look like a Torguda? So, um, if she's not a Torguda, she's not Ahsoka, so that doesn't, her species that is. So that makes no sense. Um, can't be her. I don't think that's Bo, because she's not fair enough skinned. I don't know, that's a question. I mean, if they totally messed up Ahsoka and she's human and not Torguda, we got a problem, yo. <laughs> that's going to be a huge problem for me. I don't think that's going to happen. I think George, Dave Filoni, Dave Filoni is smarter than that. And he takes Ahsoka deep to his heart. So I loved that trailer and I'm extremely excited for season two for multiple reasons. Dave Filoni, Jon Favreau, and actually George Lucas was giving a lot of his input onto this new uh, trailer and Dave Filoni described George as basically a boxing coach, you know, shooting out advice to the ring, and yet he had a big smile and sparkle in his eyes. Something like that that I read, but I'm stoked, guys. Um, I just hope that Ahsoka is truly Artur Guda. That makes me really nervous, because that looks like Rosaro Darian or whatever her name is, so... I don't know guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video and um, yeah, uh, stay tuned, subscribe for my future videos on this series and I hope y'all have a great one. You can catch me at K Jones Crafts on Instagram. I sell Star Wars pins and you know, post a ton of Star Wars content all the time. So bye guys, hope y'all have a great day.